Hey guys, we're continuing through, uh, you know, this place, trying to get to the, trying to get to the cauldron. Or oh, this is the cauldron, in fact. Uh, we're trying to do something in here, something very special. It doesn't matter what it is. Just don't ask. <laughs> don't ask, and I won't tell. Uh, quite a few enemies in here. Again, though, they're not doing too much damage. I'm just playing a normal difficulty, by the way, for anyone who was curious. I mean, I, you know, people might be saying, well, why aren't you playing on Master or Hard or whatever the Hard difficulty is called in this? And it's because, uh, you know, I've got to make videos. I can't be spending all my time trying to take care of one small group of enemies like this. And it's not like I'm playing on easy. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. What's wrong with me? No, get back here. I want to punch you. That's that's a really good attack. <laughs> okay. And... Are we done? No, you're still alive. Now you're dead. But I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for our opponents in here. And you know what? Let's actually... It's oh actually yeah we were best level up here. So there we go. We just go for the harbinger uh, path. We could also have gone for necromancer. Uh, but I'll actually generally forget to use these anyway, so it doesn't matter. And uh, what I wanted to do was to upgrade this, so we use all these weapons that and items that we have not used for. We're going to start sacrificing them to our weapon. We're not getting much out of them. Uh, but it is level 2. Um, still not really as good as the ones we're using, so we won't switch over just yet. Oh, right. Yeah, fine. I'll do it. I will get rid of that, guys. Don't worry. So we'll assign this to L1 and Triangle. There we go. And maybe I will remember to do it at some point. And this this does look a lot like a trap, but it's it's not for some reason. Uh, I don't actually understand why not. But uh, all we get is a dungeon map. And fingers crossed, we shouldn't need the dungeon map. Not if I can show you where to go. Uh, these guys, they're having a fight of their own. Uh, so let's. Just ignore them for now. We'll fight whoever wins. They're occupied. There's no need to interrupt them. We could go and join in, but that's... It's a bit rude, really, isn't it? Anyway, got a key. Skeleton key. Useful for the door that we passed in the last episode. These guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like the Stalker might come out on top here. Although that guy's got full health and is coming for me. Boom! Big punch! And a combo! Yeah, you don't want to mess with me. Just stick with that guy. Just want to make sure there's no more being born. Oh, oh, actually. Oh no, the Stalker. I still think the Stalker's probably going to win here. There we go, we give them a, give them both a bit of help. Oh no, no, he's dead. Ah, what are you doing? Come on then, punk. Where's that health? I want that health. Yeah, there we go. Okay, another big punch! Yes! Yes, another big punch. Damn, I like that. I really like this. I like punching people to death. In the game. The game. Just the game. Oh, he survived. He survived. 
Well, it hardly matters. He's going down in the next one. Come on. Come on. It's round three. All or nothing here. Boom. An uppercut to take him out. That's done. The fight's over. Give me some health. Ah, right. An Axe of Frost. I think it's time to switch out because this is going to do a lot more damage. And it looks cool. That really does look cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's just cross over here. And this is pretty much back where we were earlier. And don't be fooled into thinking once you get around here that you have to do any complicated platforming. Uh, you can. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't meant to cross there. Yeah, you just jump down here. Make sure you grab the coin. Token, whatever we want to call it. Uh, I'm probably going to call it many different things while we're playing through. And we'll use my new axe. Our new axe. I'll give you guys... I want you guys to feel like you're a part of this. Yeah. Well, that's, that's doing a pretty decent amount of damage, I'd say. I'm only really going to give tips when I actually have some, I think. Because for the most part, everything is fairly straightforward. I mean, fighting regular enemies, there's not much I have to say about it. I mean, sure, be, cau be cautious and everything. Uh, but it's not the most difficult thing in the world. Anyway, these balls can be quite annoying. Get in there! Get in there, for God's sake! I'm sure some of you have heard that before. Hey, uh, what a what a trap they laid. Okay, uh, yeah. There's actually a couple of things we've got to do here. First is grab that token, and then back up the wall, and across here, and around the back to grab this chest. Uh, more claws. Once again, we can sell those. And then up here, across this way. And up there. There we go. I'm just trying to think ahead to see if there's any any secrety things to be shown, but I don't think that there are at the moment. There's just lots of nice chests for us to open up. And what do we have? Oh, that's, that's quite good. Yeah, increase of 16 defense. And another health potion. We are going to need those. We've been going through them like... Heroin addicts. Taking heroin, not taking you know, health potions. All the way around. It's actually an area that we could see earlier, but we couldn't get to. It's one of the very first rooms we came into. Or well, the second room, in fact, if you want me to be specific. Uh, I can't see below me, but there we go. Camera can sometimes be a bit fussy. I don't think there's any harm in doing this. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, that's fine. Uh, that door there will just lead us back into the main room, main room that you just saw. Uh, we take out these two guys, otherwise they're gonna. You know, so we're gonna have to take them out at some point. So why not right now? Come on, just die. Good. Good boy. Good lad. No, no flip. You may find your controller vibrating excessively at some points in this. Um, I know I do. Don't really know what's going on with it. Uh, but it just happens during the loading screen, so you'll get used to it. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, we've got a mace. A more powerful weapon. I'm going to take it. I'm actually thinking about keeping the axe, just because it does the frost damage. Alright. So you can see we've got these things that need to be exploded. Uh, we've got a bomb here. Let's just put two and two together. Don't even need, need to aim. Bomb comes free. And the first one we have to take it to 
is over here. There we are. Come around to your right, grab your token, and that's the... S sorry, it's not a token, it's a Book of the Dead. Page. Page of the Book of the Dead. And let's move this one over to the far side, I think. Yeah, let's do that. It definitely helps. You want to be right behind those things when you're pushing them, otherwise the camera angle does make things a bit awkward. Stuck on that ledge there. It's hardly a ledge. And throw your bomb onto your ball. And you'll see why we pushed the uh, the other ball over to the far end. It's just so we only had to push this a very small way. Right, we're making pretty good progress here. Let's open this and try and remember what it was. It's a weapon. Oh no, it's a skeleton. Of course it's a skeleton key. It looked like a mace. I'd, I should have known what that was. Because we know we I know we uh I knew we needed a skeleton key. And that's uh, the kind of chest that skeleton keys come in. It's out here to the right where that skeleton key door was. See, all the pieces are falling into place. Alright, uh, we got stuff over to our left, so make sure you smash this. Uh, money will come in handy, these rupees will come in handy, should I say, uh, for, for a later point. Damn, sorry, I tried to skip that. You have to be relatively quick here, but not so quick that you need to to completely rush and mess anything up. Keep yeah, you see, death knows. No big rush, but you know, don't don't dilly dally too much. See how the fuck did that happen then? That's the kind of problems that there are with this platforming. Oh, whatever. I'll just push it again. Stupid thing. Whatever it is. We're actually, we're not a million miles away from the end of this dungeon now. So I won't, I won't worry. Let's just try and get on this thing. There we go. Glad you wanted to do it this time, Death. And make sure you aim up when you want to jump there, because otherwise Death will fuck you up again. And where are we going? We're going this way. Of course we're going this way, it's the only way to go. And up the wall. And to our left. And then up. <laughs> that wasn't up, Death. That wasn't up. Okay, uh, and I, I'm not sure, I don't think there's anything that we need. Uh, so we can just drop off here. Just make sure that there's nothing we could have picked up. Don't let the bird fool you. Looks like a token, not a token. Tricky motherfucking bird. Uh, anyway, yeah, do that. And don't forget to also do that. That had me fooled for a while. Uh, yeah, so that just... It basically leaves a single permanent. I think it leaves a permanently anyway. Uh, but we are coming back down to grab whatever was in the chest here. Oh, what shall we get? Uh, a hammer. A savage hammer of frost. Oh, we're using that. Definitely using that. Don't forget to pick up your health potions. Okay, that didn't stay up. Gotta go back. Got an enemy over there now. But still does not matter. Get off, get off, get off this wall. Get off this wall right now. You son of a bitch. There. Alright, back this way then. You know, there's nothing like repeating the same parts over and over again. Just for a bit of extra loot. 
it's so much fun, honestly. Oh, good. Not going to be so temperamental today, Death. We're going to make our way back up again. But it hardly matters. It's very straightforward stuff. And like I said, we are getting quite close to the end. So I will continue with this video. I won't pause it. Even if we're getting slightly over the time. Not that I have a time limit. I'm just trying to keep them under 20 minutes. Make sure no one gets too bored of listening to me waffle on a lot. You know, that's what I do. I waffle. Ah, go onto the platform. Go up here. Ah, make sure you smash everything. That's what we do. We smash shit. Just smash shit up and ruin. Ruin this place. I oh, used our, our new move there. First time I've used that outside of the training area. And probably the last. Unless it's by accident again. Uh, yeah, this is Garn. Say hello to Garn. Garn's aggressive, uh, but nothing that can't be solved. Uh, just with a, a li- Oh my goodness, he's like... Alright, anyway, yeah, Garn will explode and then put himself back into pieces. And if you're messing up this badly, like I am, uh, he still shouldn't be dangerous. Again, Garn's another boss. You can just circle straight around. He's... I don't know where he's going now. He's being more aggressive than, I, than he was last time. Seems to have been stunned, though. When he explodes, just head towards him. Yeah, I, d I don't remember him doing those two attacks at once. That's actually throwing me a little bit. Yeah, okay. Well, you're going to do that. So, I'll come in and I'll do my attack now. And another one, hey? And how about another one? <laughs> What's still alive? I don't know how he survived that. So you get the Dark Avenger. That's actually, I think that's just a, a, uh, a guaranteed weapon you get from this fight. Uh, these Vagabond Degreaves, not good enough. Uh, and the Scythes of Fire. Ooh, yeah, we will take those. We'll be using those for a little while, just while we level up our old scythes. Uh, there's nothing in there. I'm going to show you. Just to show you where Garn was hiding. He was just hiding here. Uh, the best hide-and-seek player probably ever. Well, that's Garn for you. He takes his game seriously. And this is basically it. Uh, for this world, there's no more. I don't believe there are any more enemies for us to take care of. There are a couple of chests. We'll keep going because there's no point at all in, um, you know, in stopping and then picking it up from here. Uh, we just smash, smash whatever we fancy. There's nothing too great to be gained from here. I don't think it's just a bit of gold. Rupees. Damn, I said gold. I don't mean to. Okay. Um, in here, I think there's, yeah, there's just a chest around to the right in here. So make sure you grab that. And a nice, nice new bit of defense for us. Uh, that's the lever that we need to turn around. But before you do that, come over here. Smash these. 
and you'll grab a book of the dead page dead page book book of the dead pages don't jump over that that would have been a big mistake and just twirl your, your thumbstick around I lost concentration there because I was having a drink. There you have it. That's pretty much mission complete there. Uh, Garn is a simple boss. I made him a bit more difficult than he, than he really is. Uh, but you shouldn't have to worry about that. There might actually be enemies down here. Don't forget your coin. Don't forget the chest around here. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just have some health. There we go. See, like I said, just take a potion. You don't... It's hard, sometimes it's hard to remember whether you actually need one or not. And once we're through this door... We are out. I'm going to end it there, guys. I'm sure you recognize where we are. There's our old buddy. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop it, pick it up from here next time, and I'll see you then.